What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Sociana. And I was with two wives. I sound drained, washed out, beat up, abused. Because it's... Let me show y'all fucking time it is. Let me show y'all the fuckery that is my life. 3.36 a.m. So, me and my cousins are going on a trip to ATL. And me and my cousin Harold were like, oh, we wonder what time our cousin Dale's going to wake up. Because we was up, you know, kind of late last night. We're like, watch. He's going to wake up really early. We're going to end up leaving, leaving for Atlanta really early. And we're just going to be tired. That's what the fuck happened. So we're about to put on some clothes to be in a car with. And I'm going to go ahead and fuck around and leave. So yeah, I will update you guys we get in the car and shit like that finally all dressed downstairs we're about to load up the fucking car it's still early as shit Home of the Kentucky Fried Chicken. And we're finally taking a break. It's um 9.01. We got on the road at like left at like 9.47. My cousin's back there. My other cousin Daniel who's driving just went to hey, so we're gonna fill back up and then go get some food. Then we'll be back on the road. And then we'll be in Atlanta. 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 Then we going crazy. In Atlanta. On the road. Oh, yeah. See you guys. We finally made it. Well, this isn't Atlanta yet, but like 20 something minutes from Atlanta. So basically, we made it. It's the most important part. Today. So, not a full 12 hours, but close to 12 hours. The point is, is we made it and we're gonna go to the hotel and do I don't know what after that but so I forgot to say this but at the end of the first day we basically got to the hotel my cousin Daniel like passed out because he had been driving all that way and we just ordered some food from um the crab boil stayed in I had like seafood off rail my cousin had a crab boil bag so yeah that was really that was it that was all I'm not getting your face I don't know how well you guys can see me, but what's up? What's popping? I don't like none of these angles. There we go. Now we got an angle that works. What's up, guys? So we're downtown, really close. Well, the Fox is like right behind us. And we're down here looking at the tour buses because my cousin is like me when it comes to people like mindless behavior and shit like that. When you go to the show, you gotta walk around the building. You gotta peep what doors people go in. You gotta peep the tour buses just in case afterwards you're gonna see somebody. So we're checking it all out. And yeah, we're just walking around tonight. Um, I was gonna go to Wilden Out, but I ended up not being able to go because my friend gave away my ticket because I wasn't, you know, just wasn't set up. So that's cool. But we're going to see Jacob Lattimore tonight, which is like such a throwback. And then after we see Jacob Lattimore, we're going to his after party. So you know your girl will be in the cut, real VIP type vibes tonight. And for now, I don't know what we're about to do. I just will find somewhere to eat maybe. I want us to get my nails done, so I'm looking for a salon. But for now, we're just chilling. It's like 11 a.m., so not too early. And you know, for now, we just gonna have us a nice little time. Walk around and see what the fuck we can see. So... We found a place to get some food at. Um, it's like a Caribbean place, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get like either the jerk chicken or the curry chicken. So that's my favorite. When decided yet, but after that, um, I don't know what we're gonna do. But I'll show you guys the food when it comes out because going to be nice but yeah this is like a cute little place 
can show you guys. So yeah, it's really nice in here. It's like the little sculptures, little plants, really pretty tables. Just a nice little vibe in here, whatever. What's up, y'all? We're at the Jacob Lattimore concert. Drive the motherfucking boat, sis. So we are at Tyler Perry Studios, which is really dope because my cousin, like I said, is a huge fan of Tyler Perry. So you're not really allowed to, of course, go into the lot, but you're allowed to kind of drive around the first little circle and look at everything. So we're going to get some clips of that. Oh, also something really exciting besides going to the Jacob Lattimore concert um, in the clips you saw before this is I went to... Lovely Mimi's Ultraviolet Nail Lounge. I got my nails and my toes done. So I did that earlier today. And then after this, we're probably going to go find something to eat. But yeah. For now, we're just going to walk around. What? I didn't know you could get a plug in your photo. Huh? Look. A parking area for photos? Yeah. Is <laughs> that where you work? Ride share, drop off parking area for photos. Welcome to Tyler Perry Studios. This place is huge. How many acres is this again, Harold? 330 something. 330 something. Yes, hit the people with the facts, Mr. Tour Guide. If somebody like Missy Elliott had a gigantic ass studio, trust me, I know just as much about it, if more. But she does not have a giant studio, you know, so I just don't know about it. But yeah, this is really dope. It's a lot of walking. How does it, how does it feel to go into Tyler Perry? Well, to be on the lot. For the past twenty something years, I've been go I've been going to plays and movies and DVR and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I met him a long time ago, but that was. Way back in the day. Yes. So, just to see somebody doing the same thing that I want to do and being a billionaire at that and having all of this and owning this. And, ooh, this man is historic because it was owned by a slave master. Yeah. So, it's a very historic thing that he owns this because you 
he owned a slave, an old slave um, property. Take it back, I mean. Yeah, yo. He took it back and made something. I mean, an empire, basically. Yes. An empire. Thank you for sharing with the vlog. We stand. It's hot, but... Y'all, he's a play writer, a director, an actor, and has a book out, an audio book out, and I'll make sure I put the link to that below, which you guys need to get oh, on yeah. now, because he is going to be a future Tyler Perry reclaiming it, and he does something bigger than Tyler Perry one day, which will be wild, but jump, hey, jump on now so he can actually remember you when he get up there, <laughs> instead of you be the last minute fan. Exactly. No, exactly. Jump on Tyler. right now. What's up you guys? So it's the day of the play. It's um, Saturday, about like 2. And we are headed up this nice, nice size hill. Good little walk. To head to the Fox. To um, check in. We already got our tickets and shit like that. So we just got to go find our seats and wait for the show to start. I'm excited. I know my cousin is even more excited than I am. You guys, this is really cool. So I'm backstage right now. Not backstage, but by the manager's office at the park. And there's all these posters and old historic videos. Like, there's the cast of Prince, G. Alvin, Ailey Dance Company. Like, so many different little posters back here. It's really dope. But my cousin had to use the bathroom. And since it's in a wheelchair, we get a lot of perks and stuff. Um, like, when we go places. And also, I forgot I had my vlogging tripod with me so i had to lock that up but this is like pretty cool like we're back you know a little exclusive area nobody else allowed back here way smaller than the at home box yeah because it's like two balconies at home there's just the main floor and one balcony that's crazy so how do you feel oh we can barely see you <laughs> feel good you had a good time so hey guys this is after the play, and I'm here with Blame It On Clay. Hey, yes, yeah. your favorite person on Instagram. Did you have a good time, girl? Yes, I can. This is my second time. See. I see exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank you. We're going to the right. You guys, it's been an amazing fucking day. As you just seen in the last clip, I seen Blame It On Quay off of the stage. She's a part of the Medea Farewell Tour. And what's the other actress's name? Avon? No, we're back. Avon? Point is, honey, she did all of that and more while performing. And she was so nice. And her makeup and shit looks so great. So, you know, a bad bitch in Atlanta doing bad bitch shit with her favorite bitches. Going to play and shit like that. Oh, they actually behind us. That's crazy. That's crazy. They're walking right behind us. But no, we're about to get into some shit. I think we're about to go eat. It's this way. Hello. Oh, what are you trying to see? Okay. Oh, yeah, I feel you. You got to peep out. That's how y'all meet people. People always ask me, like, you meet everyone, blah, blah, blah. How do you meet people? Uh, you got to be at the right place at the right time, my baby. They, 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 they behind you. I did. I told him. Like, no, he's literally, like, right behind. Look, they're right behind us. <laughs> That's so ironic. Because I told him, like, hey, can you say something to the vlog? Like, Think about it, bitch. It's my first vlog ever. Not somebody famous in my first vlog. Like, the girls can never, the girls are shaking currently. Like, y'all could never. Just, I'm in my bag, okay? <laughs> I'm in my bag on this one. But no, nah, I'm excited. This weekend. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I'm crying, baby. Yay! You don't sound excited at all. No, Yay! Yeah, no, yeah. Yay! No, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm not here right now. I know, I feel you. That's why I always yeah. like, you guys, none of this shit is gonna hit me until I get back home, like in Michigan. I'm gonna really be in my bed, like, dog. I mean, Jay, who had more? I seen Issa. I seen Vaja. I mean, Beja. I seen Blame It On Quay. Like, I seen people I used to double tap on Instagram. Like, like what? Like, like what? What? 
Like I said, y'all can never, the girls are shaking. And yeah, I'm gonna catch up with y'all a little bit later. So you guessed it, we're back for the second time the same day. Cause somebody, I don't know if y'all see him in this light, somebody wanted to see the play money. again. <laughs> Has the money to see the play again. So that's what the fuck you do, you got the money to see it again, you see that shit again, period. Y'all, I'm, I'm, we both tipsy too. It's about to be funny as hell. Oh yeah. Live, baby. To the stage door That's the first bird I to hopefully see actually. Koya again like, oh, because my cousin took a life. picture with him first but for some really reason not. I don't know if maybe the guy didn't really take the picture or if like it got deleted but somehow it's not on his firm phone so we are determined to get him another picture because that is very necessary that is Guys, you guys, you fucking guys, like, I just saw Miss Elliot, like, <laughs> uh, the girls are shaking, okay, y'all are shook, I'm shook, my wig is gone, I'm saying a wig, but my wig is gone, okay, the glue wasn't strong enough, the wind was too high, bitch, we're done for, because... Thanks a lot for the dimension because we were standing out there waiting for um, a couple of different people to come out. But my cousin wanted to take another picture with Quay because his first picture got deleted. So I'm just standing there minding my black business, and I just see the I see Missy Elliott's face, and I'm looking like, nah, bitch, this ain't this ain't Missy. This isn't misdemeanor Elliott. This isn't one two step Missy. I can't stand the rain, Missy. I'm like, this is really fucking Missy Elliott. Like, and not only just Missy, like Bankhead. I'm talking. Um, motherfucking OMG girls bankhead bitch. Where the boys at bankhead bitch? Uh, Normani bankhead bitch. Janet Jackson bankhead bitch. Like, oh, y'all, as y'all can clearly tell, I'm just excited, liberated. I said before I came to Atlanta that if I'm coming next time I go to Atlanta, I'm seeing Missy Elliott and that's on period. And that shit happened. Do you see what happens when you say some shit and you manifest some shit and you believe in it? That's why I always tell people, if God gave me the ability to dream it, then I'm going to achieve it. Because that's just on period. Like, not even to be on some motivational speaker type shit. But y'all need to start manifesting shit. Because that shit can really happen. That shit happened for me. And then we got a picture with David and Tamla. Man, we're driving right now. So that's why it's dark as fuck. But I'm going to insert the clips and pictures. Because I took a video of Missy. Because, like, I was, when she came out, all you could hear, like, all, I, I just cried immediately. Like, I don't know why I was just so shook that I just cried. Like, dead ass tears and shit and i'm just looking at her like i just said it i'm like that's missy elliott and she just turned around and looked at me and waved and other people started to notice that you know missy elliott was there and she, they was like calling her name and shit and started trying to crowd her so they hurry up and got her into the car with bankhead so i understood why she couldn't take a picture i'm actually glad she didn't so i wouldn't want her to get sworn but it's just like i saw her she acknowledged me and that's it like I think it was like last year she liked some shit of mine on Twitter and then she followed me on Twitter and after she followed me I'm like oh that's confirmation I'm either see her or work with her so I already seen her and I just gotta work with her I don't know how I'm work with her but it's gonna happen because I said I was gonna see her and it happened so I'm work with her and it's gonna happen so the next hopefully the next vlog y'all see is me getting a call from Miss Elliot goddamn hey you guys it's your girl Sussy Allen with two wives we're about to be out of here we're about to head out um we already checked out a hotel and stuff but we're about to head out and head back to michigan uh we kind of rushed getting here so we got here like faster um my cousin's gonna take his time driving home because he's the only one driving i have a driver's license but i don't fuck with the mountains and shit like that and i'm used to driving a smaller car and it's a bigger man because my cousin's in wheelchair so i would would try but uh, uh not because we're doing it yet that's not the point. We're on our way home. Oh my god, y'all. This trip was just everything I needed to remind me like of why I grind so hard. As it is, is why I grind so hard to want to have a certain lifestyle because there was so much I was able to do that I used to do when I was going to school here that I can't do back home. And it's like I have to get myself to come back and move back down here because I miss it so much. I really do. And be able to just live this certain lifestyle, not necessarily like a rich lifestyle, but just to be able to have the opportunity and do things, you know, when you have that, you're able to experience it, that's a blessing, but if it's taken away from you, kind of, 
you kind of get like, okay, well, I need that back. And for a while, since it had been so long since I've been back to a nature, I got discouraged. I'm like, you know what? I'm probably never going to go back, blah, 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 whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm just not, it's not going to happen for me. And then we planned this trip. And she kept happening, she kept happening, she kept happening. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to go back. I'm not going to be able to do a trip, blah, blah, blah. And shit worked out. And it's just so beautiful how it all worked out. Everything worked out, like, last minute. When we seen Jackal Lattimore, like, my friend had posted on social media that she was seeing her. And seeing them. And it just all, everything just fell so into place. Only the way that God could do it. And I'm just grateful for that. So, I had a really amazing trip. Uh, my cousin, Harold, got a really, had a really good time seeing Tyler Perry and being able to beat David the Tampa and seeing the rest of the people from the correct cast that uh, I don't really know their names like that because I just haven't kept up for real but they were amazing in the play I'm really stuffy right now uh, but bro <laughs> this is some shit you could, couldn't imagine some shit you couldn't play yourself so I'm just great looks like a smooth for you but we're finally back I'm not home technically, but I'm at my cousin's house, so that's close enough for me. But yeah. Um, I just wanted to end out the vlog. I'm struggling to get, you don't have to, you don't have to keep moving. Just wanted to end out the vlog with saying we made it back safely. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Remember, it's your girl Saucy Allen, and that's with two Y's. That's probably the quietest shirt I've ever heard me say that shit again. Bye, guys.